What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC, and welcome back to my reaction channel. As y'all already know, I've been going through some crazy stuff with my gaming setup. Man, no, man, y'all don't know how stressful it is, but you know what I'm saying? We came to a little conclusion until, until, I don't know, until what, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna have to wear these headphones and talk to y'all right through here, you know what I'm saying? It's, so I would definitely like you guys feedback. Just let me know how it sounds. Um, I think it sounds better than the echoing, but you guys let me know. You guys are the one that's receiving the content, so you guys would have to let me know. But I think it sounds better. Let me know in the comment section. But since I've been gone, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things have happened. I've been wanting to react to some things, and I haven't been able to. But now that we're up and running, we're going to react to this Meek Mill 6 9 situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, obviously they have they have uh, ran into each other in person. And uh, we're about to see what, what happened. I think everybody's seen the video, but I just want to look at the videos. And you guys get my perspective on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Well, everybody knows the play here. I mean, I know 6 9 about to release some music, and he definitely does things like this when he's about to drop, but I didn't. I really didn't understand the purpose of just the uh, uh, weighing outside Meek's, Meek's uh, car and why why he even chose Meek Mill is, is a good question, too. You know what I'm saying? But... um. Yeah, I found this whole situation weird. Um, yeah, let's just watch the video first, and then we'll talk a little bit about it after. So. And when he ran into Meek Mill, Meek Mill apparently, according to Meek Mill himself, spit on him, and then 6 9 left the club. And Meek thought that was the end of that. But when he got out, he ended up running into 6 9 at the parking lot, and then basically all hell broke loose. So 6 9 posted the video of him basically confronting Meek Mill, calling him a bunch of words that I can't say on YouTube because they're censored. Basically the P word, uh, B word, so on and so forth. You know what words those are. And throughout the whole video, he's saying that basically, you know, you're running with police, security, all this. So check out the video. 6 9 posted it first for the world to see. That's a fact, you That's a fact, you I think six nine. Sorry, right, right now six nine is pointing out the fact that um, six nine. He's pointing out the fact that Meek has security, but he has security also. So that's like it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But look. Look, you take, and you with police, and you with police, nigga. Look, that is the cop. That is the cop, nigga. You nigga. I, I do, do people really think that Meek Mill should be outside without security? Like, do, do people really think like that? I would just like to know. If you guys think like that, then I think you guys are tripping. That's just my opinion, but I think you guys are tripping. I think Meek Mill definitely needs security. Fuck around. Need, need real cops around him. I don't know. Like, wow. That's a fact that nigga's crazy. Look, ain't with a cop. We don't got no security. I got my own. I got my own. Don't he get, but doesn't he, isn't he with security? Is he with security or am I bugging? That's a fact that nigga's crazy. Look, ain't with a cop. We don't got no security. I got my own. I got my own fight on his security in the club. That nigga's a cop. All right, y'all. So this is, this is the part that had me crying. You know what I'm saying? As y'all already know, I I had uh I had commented on my um on the post 
No, no, I actually, I tweeted. I said, if 6 9 was a fan of Pooh Shicey, he could have just said that. And the reason why I said that is right here. This is a Pooh Shiesty bar right here. I got my own fight on the security in the club. That nigga's the only That's a Pooh Shiesty verse. Pooh Shiesty part. Oh. I got my own fight on the security in the club. That nigga's a cop. You feel me? Like, so that, that's what well, that's the part that had me dead. You know what I'm saying? So for the people that thought I was trying to intervene or get in the middle, it wasn't that at all. I I really genuinely found that part to be hilarious. Like, that part is hilarious. So funny. The fact that he randomly just said the Pooh Shiesty lyric was hilarious to me. That was just, it was just like, damn, we know he listens to that song, you know? <laughs> Like, that's, that's one of his favorites, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely in his playlist, but let's keep going. This is what he said in the caption after posting the video. Stop letting these rappers lie to you. They're tough for security. At Meek Mill, running around with police. This is how you expose these fake gangsters. This guy is the P-word clown. So, Meek Mill then saw this. The internet obviously has him trending right now because of this. So Meek Mill immediately posted his point of view. One of his homies recorded a video of 6 9 coming at Yo, him. Chill with the same one of the incident, homies. Just from their point of view. And then Meek Mill chill started posting a bunch of uh, Instagram stories and tweets explaining what happened. So check out Meek Mill's perspective. You said best nigga. You said best nigga. You said best nigga. I got my own fire. All y'all niggas. Sir, in the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pushy definitely you know, likes Pushy for sure. Here, huh? What y'all trying to give me locked up? Weirdo. What y'all weirdos want to give fucking me locked up? You clown ass nigga. Why the f I even bring that clown over here? What the f is wrong with y'all? What y'all trying to get me in trouble? What y'all f Why 6 ix 9 just run up on me with a bunch of cops so I spit on him? I thought I was dreaming. He waited outside the club for me with the feds. What the fuck? <laughs> what y'all trying to get me in trouble? Huh? Look at that nigga face. Back to back in these colonies and shit. This nigga trying to run up on me and get me locked up. Why you pick me? What did we do to you, 6 9 Why the fuck you trying to take me out the streets, boss? Then in the caption he said, The feds sent, sent him, him to, to take, take me out. out. What the F? Had to spit on him, so he retreated. LOL, he really waited outside the club for me. I thought I was dreaming. What the F? We almost smoked him. LOL, he posed a little threat. Popping up in the parking lot, waiting for me with a bunch of laughing emojis. And honestly, a lot of rappers responded to this in the comments. I mean, there's so much. YG responded with the emoji covering his face. A lot of rappers are laughing at it. Juicy J, so on and so forth. They're basically siding with Meek Mill, of course. And then on Meek Mill's story, he posted a bunch more. Then he went on Twitter and posted, 6 9 waited outside the club for me. They're trying to get us. What the F? We did not Yo. run into each other. I was getting in my car. He just popped out. We almost was smoking on that 6, six and nine, 9 pack both. for the love of a viral moment. He's trying to get something locked up. No cap. LOL. And then he said, why did he pick me? What the LOL. Then he said, he, <laughs> this is funny right here, because he said, then he said a Pooh Shiesty bar to me. And then a dumb. fan basically posted the Pooh Shiesty bar on the Back and Blood track. And then <laughs> me quoted it saying, I'm a real witness to that LOL, which was funny, man. I'm Six telling you, it was hilarious. Pooh bar was just random. It was hilarious. You see? So what do you guys think Dang about it. the situation? We're going to be talking about this on the podcast, of course, and expanding on what we think, me and my co host um, so go ahead and check that out to hear our opinions on that. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this another moment? Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, so as we looked at that, I just wanted to address a few things for my, uh, just for my supporters and for all the young people that look up to me and listen to me and stuff. Um, I, I didn't like how people try to portray Meek Mill. Like he was supposed to slap the shit out of him. Like. Like, I felt like that's exactly what 6 9 kind of wanted. You know what I mean? Like, for, like, I don't know. It sounds funny, but I just feel like that's kind of what he wanted. And, like, how how is people that, that, that Meek Mill is around supposed to look at him if he 
feeds into this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, saying certain things on the internet and in songs is one thing, but like, nigga, Meek Mill got locked up for Willie and a bike. You know what I'm saying? Imagine what what would happen if he do some to to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, this is this is talking about real life. Like, he got his children, he has family, and y'all talking, y'all talking about just what y'all would have liked for a viral moment or for a a moment to talk about. And I just, I ain't like how y'all was coming off. Like, like don't, I don't think y'all should do that. And like, y'all know niggas and shit like that. I think Meek did exactly what he should have done. Like, nigga, you ain't going to touch me. Like, you, you trying to do this for, for a video, nigga. Like, nigga, I, like, you know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to smoke this nigga while he's recording? Like, like, all these people over, like, it's just not, I don't know. Make sure y'all comment. Comment what y'all think he should have did. Comment what y'all think um, y'all would have liked him to do. Um, I think he did the right thing. I think he just played it gangster. Like, just, nigga, you ain't about to touch me. Go ahead, you can get your video. I'm about to get my video. And that's it. You ain't proved nothing. You ain't proved nothing different to me. You still who you are. Like, you know what I mean? But let me know what y'all think. I holla at y'all, and I see y'all next video. You're, and again, let me know how this is sounding. If y'all like it, if y'all don't like it, y'all gotta let me know. You're, love y'all. See y'all next video.